We can do more than we think, a motto from Wim Hof. The mind is truly capable of extraordinary feats when put to the test. Wim Hof, a Dutch athlete, is one of the very few humans who has put his mind and body to the test. His form of self-discipline and endurance has been labelled by scientists as nothing short of superhuman. In a global pandemic, Max is unable to trek in shorts to the heights of Mount Everest or dive under ice to swim daring distances like the Iceman himself, or even be trained in person with him in the ice baths in Poland. However, in a bid to improve his well-being, build awareness for mental health charities and raise large sums for charity, he is pledged to spend 90 days visiting the freezing temperatures of Kent's coastline. At the start of Max's journey, I joined him spending a meagre few minutes compared to the endurance and commitment of Max's 90 days. Max spent a few minutes before we traipsed into the freezing temperatures of the sea to explain the three pillars of Wim Hof's method. Cold water therapy, breathing and commitment. Something that Max is demonstrating in all areas. Um, outside temperature when I got out this morning for two degrees. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go and see what it's like. What did you say to do? Put my hands on my thighs. Yeah, I mean, everyone has a different a different way of doing it. I, I do it for, um, it's almost like a meditation sort of thing, because you don't want to think about the cold and you don't want to think about the warm. Yeah. That's... Just, well, if anything, you want to think about the cold, but you want to like... Think, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, and you just get used to it. It's, yeah. But when I put my hands on my thighs, it's like, um, I don't know, you can feel a bit of warmth. I did that last night in the shower. And I was like, oh my God, he's right. You can actually feel the warmth coming yeah. from your legs. Yeah, so when you go in there, obviously it's different in the shower because you're fully submerged in a cold water, but yeah, it's not as bad as I'll probably make it out to me. <laughs> probably yeah, well, I'd rather you do that. <laughs> so then when I'm in there. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably find it easy. Um, but just staying there for as long as you get. The biggest thing, the first minute of me getting in there, I think, I think I'm getting used to it. I'm only 11 days in, so I'm not a pro. But I think um, that first minute or 30 seconds is hard. Yeah. Have you noticed the difference, like obviously doing the whole Wim Hof method, have you noticed a difference in, like, I don't know, your mental health or... Yeah, or is it meant to relieve stress as well? That's what mainly, well, mainly. There's a, there's a lot of main reasons, but yeah, I mean, you take out of it what you will. Um, I think if you set your mind on something, say stress, yeah. you'll notice that difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a big notice in everything. I mean, I'm probably physically, it gets easier breathing, it's a cardio, but. You can't stop me now. So I've just done it, um, much better than I thought. I was aiming for a minute um, and got to three minutes, so I was pretty up for that. Um, once I got out, it's really strange. Once I got out, um, it was, I felt like I should have done more because I felt warm, it was really weird. 
Um, once I was out, I, I thought I'd want to get changed and get in the car and get really warm instantly, but I was like just chilling on the beach, um, which is really strange. Um, but I think I, I might go back in a, a few weeks' time, uh, once Max is further in, and see if I can uh, last uh, any longer. Max has now raised over £2,000 for Mental Health UK and it's climbing quickly. And I implore you to follow his Instagram at shiveringsmith90 or donate to his GoFundMe page. Thank you all for listening to the end and let me know in the comments about your experiences with cold water exposure and the Wim Hof Method. Thank you. 